What's up guys, Metalcore Kai here again, and we have some huge, huge news today. I woke up at about 2 a.m. this morning, randomly chucked my phone to I See Stars dropping two songs, two songs. This band has not dropped music since Treehouse, the album, in 2016, it's 2023, that's seven years. And now out of nowhere, we have two tracks, Anomaly, and drift. If you haven't listened to them yet, go check them out after this video. But until then, I gotcha. So first things first, with this band not dropping music for like I said, seven years, I had no idea what to expect. I didn't know how this was gonna sound. I didn't know if it was gonna be heavy, what it was gonna sound like whatsoever. So that being said, I don't know where my expectations were. It might be a good thing, less disappointment, potentially. So, first track, Anomaly. Definitely not as heavy as I expected. This is the first one I listened to. So it may be on the lighter side a little bit, but even after all this time, Devin's voice still has that punch, that kick that it had before. You know it's him. He still sounds great. And with it being Icy Stars, there were still some electronic aspects to it some effects um, definitely reminiscent of treehouse the album the last one they released which i personally loved and while i have heard and seen a lot of people saying that they're disappointed it's too light not heavy enough i get it i had the same vices would bring me the horizon but in my opinion this still sounds exactly like i see stars even after all this time there are so many parts of anomaly and the second track that we'll get to later on that are reminiscent of so many factors that at least made me fall in love with IC Stars. Devin's voice, the unique electronic sounds, how the guitars go together with the riffs and the melodies. It's just, it's IC Stars. So as far as the production on Anomaly goes, I think it's mixed very well. I think it sounds great. The instruments, Devin's voice, the effects, they're complementing each other. Nothing's too overbearing, underwhelming. Overall, I'm gonna give Anomaly a 7.5 out of 10. I'm hyped I see Stars is back. I'm sure like a lot of you have been waiting for this for a very, very, very long time. I'm a happy man, a happy man. And the second track, Drift. Definitely my favorite of the two. It is, it is a little bit heavier than Anomaly. I will say that, but I'd say it's more angry sounding at some parts that it is heavy you know Devin's voice just kind of pierces through you like it does but in a good way it's something that not many vocalists are able to do especially with their clean vocals and with that just like Anomaly I think there are many parts of Drift that are reminiscent of Treehouse their last release and like I said some people didn't like it but I know that's a very well received album a lot of people like it I loved it and one of the main reasons for that, I think it's Devin's voice. You know, he has such a unique sounding voice that you're not really gonna find anywhere else in his range. He can do so many different things with it and he's really showing that, especially in this second song, Drift. When I hear a new song, even when a new album gets dropped, one of the things that's going through my mind when I'm listening to a song, how fun is this gonna be at a show? Is this gonna get the crowd going? Is it a softer song? Is it meant to be like that? Is there gonna be a circle pit? Are people gonna be killing each other? What's it gonna be like at a show? And while, like I said, these aren't the heaviest tracks, there's probably not gonna be any wall of deaths during these songs. I definitely think the way these songs are written and how they sound are gonna get the crowds very, very involved. I can picture people, especially during Drift, going crazy in the crowd. And I think that's huge for a band like ISD Stars who hasn't toured in so long and is now touring with a band the caliber of Bad Omens. The production on Drift, same thing as Anomaly. ISD Stars knows what they're doing with how long they've been kind of in the electronic or scene for and what mixing that kind of music takes. They know what they're doing. It sounds good. Everything complements each other. Nothing's, you know, drowning something out, not mixing it well enough. Drift, like I said, it's my favorite of the two. I did enjoy both. I really missed IC Stars. I'm gonna give Drift eight out of 10. 
I know I don't just speak for myself when I say this. I cannot wait to hear the rest of the music that Icy Stars has. I am hoping that there's some heavier stuff than just these two songs, but I did really, really, really enjoy them. Icy Stars is back. They have an album on the way. They're touring. I don't know what else we could ask for, YouTube. I don't know. As always, thank you guys for stopping in. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, support the channel, and get all your metalcore updates. It's a win-win situation. We'll catch you guys next time.